Hey, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Ken, and I'm back to you with another one. Uh. Hey, so uh, this is what a lot of people ain't talking about, right? So Oscar De La Hoya and Canelo, they got signed to the zone, right? Now, this is going to create friction and competition amongst Oscar De La Hoya and Eddie Slithery Hearn. You got two of the biggest snakes in the sport of boxing on the same network, which is the zone, right? So why is that a problem? Okay, they're promoters, right? And they still have to make sure not only do they bring individuals to the zone, but they also have to make sure that they find individual fighters to sign to their promotional company. They didn't buy Golden Boy. They didn't buy Matchroom Boxing. As a result, so you got these fighters who's basically on the market, like Luis Ortiz. Then you got other fighters who are on the market. And they're going to both be trying to go for those individuals. Yes, again, like I said, they're both on the zone. They're both trying to get fighters on the zone, but they also have to have fighters because they have to promote fighters. And when they promote fighters, they get a percentage. So if they only have the the stable of fighters that they have now, it's not going to be any type of benefit to it because they might have to get people to fight on Showtime, depending on if they win the bid war. And by the, uh, the history of things, Eddie Hearn don't win bid wars, you know? So the fact that those two are on the same uh, platform, but the fact that they still have to still look for fighters uh, to bring to their their promotional company, it's going to cause competition. And I guarantee you, and and when it happens come back to me and let me know I'm the guru or I'm psychic or I I predict it. Just let me know something because it's going to be the point to where both of them are going to try to do something to secure a bag and to be the face of the zone. So Oscar De La Hoya is so big on trying to be better or bigger than Al Heyman that he's going to pull a lot of snake stuff. And, you know, Eddie Slithery Hearn, who is a snake himself, he's going to, you know, try to manipulate situations and it's going to cause some type of friction within the zone. In fact, Eddie Hearn might be out of there, if you ask me. They're, the zone is going to try to talk to um, AJ. They're going to try to see what he can do with him. And then, um, you know, just basically try to get him out of that contract, even though he signed just signed for three years, which is dumb. Because why would you sign a, a three-year deal when you could have almost made $100 million just for one fight or the possibility that man in bed on himself, Anthony Joshua. Why? Because he don't have any type of faith in himself. But I don't understand how you can convince a man to turn down fifty million dollar guarantee and then make uh, and then sign for a contract that you would get in one fight, possibly. He and he signed that much, which was a hundred thousand. I mean, a hundred million dollars. You could sign a hundred million dollars. But you could have got 50 million guaranteed. But instead of taking a 50 million dollar guarantee, you'd rather take a three year, 100 million dollar contract. Oh, wow. I don't know. I I, I can't understand that logic. I ain't gonna even try to basically make it make sense because it's no way I can put it. I can cut it, paste it back together, cut it again, and it won't make any sense. So. Uh, That's all I got for now. It's your boy, Ken. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below in the comment section. That's all I got for now. All right.